Good afternoon. Okay. Uh, after about three or four <laughs> more tries and attempts, I scudded everything that I'd started on. So all the videos that uh, are prior to this one, uh, it didn't work. <clears throat> but I did get this one to work. Uh, I figured out what I was doing wrong. <laughs> and... Uh, so this is not the finished product, and it's just simply a rough prototype. And uh, the next thing I'll do now is I'll redesign the uh, piston and the uh, uh, reciprocation of it and how it works. So we have something totally new and a little smoother in, uh, for action. But right now, you know, the idea was to see if we could get one to work. And finally, I, I can't show it to you just yet. Uh, I need to uh, fix a, an airline to uh, hook to this and hook to the air compressor instead of the uh, the uh, <clears throat> push pull or the pulse uh, air compressor, but I'd managed to stick enough air holes on the uh, compressor and this thing took off like a bat. So <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. So here's where it's at. Excuse me. <clears throat> this is an exhaust port right here and it's below the sleeve which is right here there's a sleeve right here the piston comes through the hole and there's a hole on the uh, located in on the piston ram so exhaust port here can get air exhaust out of here what I thought was that 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 uh, air holes air hole here was uh, building pressure from this from the cylinder and and it wasn't. All it was for was a, an exhaust. After I got to looking at this thing closer and closer and closer, I figured out, hmm, I understand what's going on. So the uh, in, uh, air import comes in here, and it actually rides in between the cil cylinder up here and the sleeve. And the air between the cylinder and the sleeve is what actually drives the piston up. Then when it gets to the top, the uh, hole that's at the bottom of the piston ram now is right in line with this here uh, air port. So it goes into that and it fills that up, puts pressure on it, and the air going through the middle of it forces this ram back down through the uh, 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 the uh, to the ex exhaust ports. And uh, so everything worked. Uh, even the head here has a, a tremendous amount of impact. And I'd be happy to show you how this works once I get her completed. And uh, I'll, I'll work on trying to get an air hose to it so we can try it with a little foot feed. Uh, I, like I said, I, I just pumped air to it, and boy, I'll tell you, <laughs> couldn't hold it in my hand. So, uh, let's see if I can... Okay. So far, here's kind of how I built this thing. There's a lid. And I built a little, a little cap. There's the piston, and this little cap goes up through here, and, uh, like that. Misunderstood how this thing works. And uh, so eventually, I put. I, I think I, if the, I was going to parts to it. try and use this, I would put an O-ring on. Some there. of it you probably could but, do without, but <clears throat> I did. Sure I, I, I went ahead and built little pieces to to make the whole thing whole. Now this is just a, a cap for the time being. There would actually be a engraver handle built for this. If you're going to go ahead and, and finish it off, and I might, I don't know, uh, but uh, now I want to work on a reciprocating, reciprocating system that slides in a, in, a, in a curved direction. So that's kind of hard to explain, but it'll have uh, grooves going into it sideways, and there'll be a pin in this, and that'll actually slide it in and back out. What I was misunderstanding was how the uh, system worked, and it's, it's it's basically a steam engine, and that's what I looked up, a steam engine, and uh, to see how they actually worked it. Now, they use levers and valves and, and uh, check valves to uh, drive the piston back and forth, and you don't really need any of that. You just need one. So this this hole works two, two, uh, two directions. It uh, exhausts the air once it's filled up inside, and uh, then it goes back up uh, in line with this here airport, and uh, which would be this direction, like that. The uh, 
the uh, piston would be at the at its top maximum and air would fill in here come up through the center of this piston and drive this piston back down through the sleeve then the air would exhaust out the sleeve and the uh, air between the inside of this piston here and about right here where the sleeve would be this little part of the chamber fills back up with air and uh, forces it back up and I didn't understand that for the longest time and a couple of guys sent me some uh, different videos of uh, uh, underground drill uh, uh, cutters and uh, then I, I ran into a steam engine just a real simple one and I figured out how that was done and then I thought okay we can we can make it now so this whole thing kind of works and I, I don't have a an air hole system set up to run it just just yet but uh, it's coming and then we'll we'll fire it up and show you how the whole thing works but uh, it's really a simple principle and steam engines have been around for oh, 100, 150 200 years so that's the uh, pistons in there now you can hear it pounding back and forth and uh, when the air comes in and here it forces that piston back up and then the air to the top forces this piston back down that's all there is to it all this here is here is just an exhaust port has nothing to do with rechambering or repressuring the uh, below the uh, the uh, sleeve that's in here. That has nothing to do with repressuring it here. So uh, I made a little cap for mine, a little brass cap, and I was thinking, you know, if I made it a little longer like this, I could put a, an O-ring on there, and that would seal this top complete, which would be great. And then the uh, engraver handle, which I just made a quick. Uh, quick uh, nut to hold on to everything so as you can hear it. and this head uh, I'm going to work on it a little bit more and then drill a hole and set a screw there drill a hole and set a screw in here so that that works a little better too but it goes in with an o-ring in there and that's the whole system right there so now I gotta put a I gotta put a uh, groove through here, and uh, and I gotta cut this down a little bit further the cylinder, so that we have uh, a little tit coming out of here that uh, slides into that. And once we get that done, then this can't slide around and it will hold. And then I can put a sleeve out in here to cover up this exhaust port. So the more you covered it up, the shorter the stroke would get. This would this would start screwing in like that. Right now this would be about the longest part of the stroke and uh, you'd have your sleeve threaded all the way up to this and then you could thread the sleeve in and that would allow this head to move inward and then you start to cover up the hole the exhaust hole and that's going to slow this thing down so you're, you're just going to get a real light stroke. And that's about the nature of the whole whole beast. I don't know why it took me a three quarters of a year to figure this all out but uh, it did so, <laughs> and school of hard knocks now we gotta work on a better way of doing it so we can get a get one that would work I am going to go back and uh, develop a couple three uh, pulse gravers uh, using some some uh, techniques that I used here and once we get that figured out then you know I'll put a nice high polish on these and we'll see if anybody's interested in uh, trying one out. Uh, I got to build a couple tin plates yet to uh, sharpen gravers and uh, that's about all I uh, we're, we're, we're still about three or four weeks behind here but I got to get back on the clock work and the jury work and uh, so we'll uh, cut this video short now and I will come back and get you show you the the uh, air running through this thing and how it works so Bear with me as I get some tubing and stuff, and I got a somewhere I, I, I had some uh, fittings that ran an air compressor to to these, but I don't know what I done with it. So I'll have to build some new fittings so we can run an air compressor direct to this. So I'll go ahead and 
close this video up and uh, hope you enjoyed the, the little session with me. I was pretty happy with this one. So thanks for watching as always and uh, we'll keep working on a newer and better design of how these should work. Thanks a lot.